Pletch, you guys ready to go? You need a warm up or anything? You just ready? It's match time. Shake hands with somebody, compete with somebody. Go! Dun 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 dun. 10 15, last lap! Let's go! Come on, Pletch! That's my dog! Look at that black shirt, baby! <laughs> 34, 35, 36! Oh my gosh! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! 1140! 1140! 1141! 1142! Oh, Sasso's got him! Sasso got him! I didn't see anybody that didn't put up a better time. Those kinds of, those kinds of times should be just indicative of all the hours that you put in and, and hey, wrestling should grow that much in the process too. So listen, preseason's over. All the talk, all the BS, all the other stuff is out the window. Now it's, now it's how bad do you want this, man? How hard are you willing to push in between your ears? And how much are you willing to push each other? And like, like Coach talks about, like Jay talks about, sharing truth with each other. Luke Pletcher, you got it, man. Let's go, Bucks! Preseason is over. For Colin Moore, his fifth and final ride has arrived. For the three-time All-American, it's his last chance to step to the top of the podium and get his hands on a national title. He's been close, about as close as a wrestler can get to the pinnacle, close enough to taste the glory that only goes to 10 wrestlers each year. Moore has won back-to-back -back Big Ten titles at 197 pounds, but has seen the ultimate goal slip through his grasp on the national stage. To get there, it all starts with some early morning refinement. You could take like three days off wrestling and you'd be sore like you've never done it in your life. Don't feel sorry for yourself, just because it's early at 640. Sparring a little bit for feel, one, two. A little feel spar. Yeah. Try getting front headlock, try to stay on your feet so that you actually have to work. <laughs> so once I, if I get that elbow down, I'm just shooting a corner. On the way down, I flare to my hook. Alright. I think you can whip him. I think you can you can whip him for for, for the point. You know what I'm saying? If, if you get the head to slide across your chest the right way. Yeah, that's the only thing. His head feels like it's popping out. Right. So you just keep it in with your to whip, you pull him, and that head should slide across. The other thing is I kind of elbow first. Like I, I throw the ball like Logan does, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dragging, dragging, dragging. Bounce, and then it's lift. Like, like lift, and, let the, and then. Push that ball. But try, to, try to make him long, pull him across. Even the number one wrestler in his weight class has room for improvement. Thanks to some motivation from your coach, a guy who knows a thing or two about winning at the highest levels. I just want to end with one guy for three minutes, you're trying to hold him in for headlock. So you're not trying to get go-behinds, you're, you're trying to control the position, and you're trying to become more efficient than he is with your energy. Escaping a headlock though, he's got that down. It's a good way to start your day. It got a little hard there at the end. They made us kind of go live pretty much, but uh, it's a good way to start a sweat in the morning and stuff, keep your weight down. So 
now we go to class. So it's kind of crazy being in my fifth year. Um, I was talking to one of the freshmen yesterday about them being nervous about so many big hard wrestling practices in a row. And it's, I was thinking like, I don't even think about it much anymore. I'm just excited to finish it out strong. A couple guys on the team before me got their masters in sports management. And so I tried that out and I really like it so far. Um, we're actually promoting, we're in charge of promoting a wrestling match to students for my sports marketing class. So I gotta think of something to get students out there. So if you're watching this, November 17th against Virginia Tech, be there so we get graded on it. All the years finishes are driving me right now. Um, kind of keep reminding yourself no matter how much success I haven't really um, you know won anything yet. I grew a lot last year just in my toughness and everything so this year hopefully I can put it all together and come out on top. After class Colin has a quick chat with his professor, part-time teacher, full-time athletics director. Yeah. Ready for the season? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's exciting. So a lot of young guys. I'm going to try to make that city wrestle off. That'll yeah. be really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. How's your body? It's good. Does it? Yeah, we're just starting to like wrestle every day for practice now because yeah. the like, official season started. So That's great. it's getting used to the, the wear and tear again. But it feels pretty good so far. All right, buddy. Looking forward to the Thanks. season. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to class. No problem. Uh, something upbeat. I'm, I'm kind of thinking of some oldies, though. Elijah's got a good playlist. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Woo! One minute, number one man, front headlock offense. Defend yourself, get your hands on him, get him underneath you and score. One minute, ready, go. <clears throat> skill, move him, move him. Come on, good skill. Black shirt skill. The Black Shirts, a new Ohio State wrestling tradition. Only for the elite. Two Buckeyes have earned the right to wear black so far. Co-captains Colin Moore and Luke Fletcher. I think it's just a really cool idea. You know, a, a cool new tradition to pass on. From, from year to year, and it'll give guys something to look at, um, something to keep reaching for every day. Every rep is hard. We want your best. We want everything you can possibly give, we want it. It's gonna be packed in the wrestle-offs. They'll come from all over to see people do what they love. You want more fans, be a tougher man. They love toughness, the world loves tough. You wanna be the guy they're coming to see. All right, good, good work today, good work. All right, Buckeye Nation is real, right? He's the biggest fan base in the country. All right, everybody will come, people will drive for miles to see a warrior. Be that guy, be that guy. Three, one, two, three. Go Bucks! Check back on OhioStateBuckeyes.com for future episodes of Beyond the Block O, featuring the Ohio State wrestling team.